Okay, Scott, this video is mostly for you so that you can hear the sound in one of my engines. Uh, <clears throat> this is a standard steam engine. Uh, no modifications to it right out of the box. But, uh, well, here goes. I'm going to run a loop with it pulling some cars and see so you can hear it all. I've got about, I think, nine cars on the track pulling it, or it pulling about nine cars. That's probably fairly typical um, for this size of a layout. All, all of those will fit on my shortest siding, and that's usually what you try to shoot for. Uh, here it is coming towards us. Again, the sound is running. Uh, you heard the bell a minute ago, but... I'm hoping that the, you can hear the distinctive chuffing it's doing. <coughs> While it's running around the far side, you can see I've started laying some of my turnouts here. Uh, going up underneath the track here. Hopefully it's bright enough for you to see. There's uh, the turnout mount. There's the uh, the machine, the the electronics that drive the servo motors. And I don't know how clear that is, but there's a servo motor mounted to the bottom of the track. Right now there's not power running to those, or they'd be all lit up, and I'd be able to use this little switch right here to control it or I could do it from uh, the computer interface. This is um, the ouch, the computer interface. It's a um, an RR Circuits Loco Buffer USB that allows me to hook USB into one side and to the Loco Buffer on the other, which gives me full computer control of the train. Way over there, starting up the big hill. It's struggling a little bit because I don't have back EMF on this locomotive. Uh, like I said, it's stock right out of the box. When I put the back EMF module in it, it will keep a consistent speed once the throttle speed is set for it. I'm speeding it up just a hair to help it through. I don't have any crossings yet on the layout, so I really have no need to do the crossing horn, uh, the crossing sign. But here anyway, here it is coming back in. This is about where we started, so I'm going to bring it to a stop. Now it'll go into an idle mode where it makes random noises. And then if I want to, let me see if I can actually get it to go into shutdown mode and see if you can hear this stuff. I don't remember if this loco has it or not, but here goes nothing. Yeah, there it goes. Lights going off, it's powering down. In just a minute, it should power itself all the way off. But, that's good. That's like a five-minute video I've done. I didn't mean for it to last that long. Uh, 
next time I'll have some more track laid and I'll put it into a siding and then I'll uh, hook up my uh, like my F7A B units with sound and let them go do their thing. So we'll uh, talk to you next time. Bye.